All right, wearing my Runkle jersey, so that means only one thing. It is tournament day out here, Elmendorf Lake. Got about an hour till we start. Uh, a couple of people are here already, but uh, yeah. So kind of warm, it was a little cool this morning, but I think warming up the way it is, it'll make the fish active. So I think we got a pretty good day ahead of us. So let's get to it. All right, decent amount of people showed up. Uh, I didn't get a good count, probably about somewhere between 20 and 30. Just starting. I'm gonna stick to the shade. No, it was the next bridge. I mean, I, I, I ran into them here too, but that one over there was the worst. <laughs> I've never seen so many of these mosquito fish or guppies or whatever they are. Not here anyway. I'm not sure if there's being so many of them is a good thing or a bad thing. There's, there's that many of them, but nothing's eating them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, they're everywhere. I'll take them over with all that green shit over here. Oh, yeah. Man, this thing sounds terrible. I guess I need to re-spool it. Oh, oh, come back. No, I was messing with my line and I had a bite. Bit it again, but I didn't get the hook set. Come on. Maybe I need to go with the smaller bait. Smaller bait or a bigger hook? Jimmy's on the board. He just caught one across the lake there from me. It's a little bitty one, but it counts. All right, go back to my swim bait real quick. Then I'm going to move on. Okay, had some bites on the bigger swim bait, but they were just like they were grabbing the tail. Like, there's nothing I could be able to hook. So I switched up to the smaller swim bait that's on a small hook. That way if they grab the tail, they'll probably get the hook too. I just unfortunately can't cast it very far because it's such a small, such a small jig head. Step back over here. Oh. There was a bite that I missed again. It's probably a sunfish. I'm over here wasting all my tournament time trying to catch a sunfish. Oh, got him, got him. Is it a bass? It's a bass, yep. That's what I kept seeing popping over there. I needed the smaller swim bait for him. There we go. On the board. All right, let me get this. Let me find my tape measure. This is just a tiny little fish, but he'll get me on the board. He's roughly seven and a half. All right, got a picture. Now get them released. Let's see if I can get another one. Cast back into that corner. See if there's something else in there. Oh, there sure is. Back to back casts. I hope my camera is recording. Wow. Back to back casts in a tournament. That's amazing. That's tiny. This one's even smaller than the first one, but still, every inch matters. Wow, this one is tiny. It's a six and a half inch bass. But I know there's more bass in there because I had another bite and then I saw one pop on the surface. So I can win a tournament with a bunch of tiny little fish. 
There we go. Got another one. This one's a little bit better. Maybe about the same as the first one. <clears throat> These are San Antonio bass. They don't get too big around here. But, uh, yeah. Can you imagine winning a professional tournament with fish this big? It's catch and release, so we can, we can do it here. Huh? Nope, he's actually small. He's like the other one, about six and a half. And there he goes. Let's see if there's some more in there. I seem to have found a school of tiny bass, but you know what? I'm gonna use these right now to get on the board, and then I'm gonna go look for something bigger to put me ahead. There we go, there's another one. Four. Four bass right here. They're all the same size. But this is pretty awesome. I'm already almost at my limit. Then I can start culling some of these tiny ones out. Come on, calm down. This is six and three quarters. Nope, nope, nope. He's a little bigger than that, but he won't stay still for the picture. Oh, he's exactly seven inches. <laughs> I'm going to keep throwing there. Let's do it. And they're just, they are aggressively going after this Runkle swim bait here. Oh, there's another one. This might be the smallest one out of all of them. I think five right there. That's good. And I'm going to move on and try to chase something bigger now. Call this one off. Jesus Christ, look how tiny this fish is. Can you imagine if I win this tournament on these fish? I have all five of these fish. Somebody else can catch one and still beat me. This one is five and a half inches long. This might be the smallest bass I've ever caught on a rod and reel. Five and a half inches. That is ridiculous. And he was nice and cooperative too. He stayed still for the picture. So, and he was on the tape. He fit perfectly on top of the tape measure. That's how tiny he was. The tape measure worked as a mat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move on. This is a great spot, but I'm gonna move on. I gotta go find somebody so I can brag about the five fish that I caught with the biggest one being seven inches. All right, it is 549. I got a little bit of a late start. I've probably only been fishing for about half an hour and I've already got a limit. So, uh, yeah, that, that's probably the fastest I've ever gotten to a limit in a tournament before. In fact, I've only gotten to a limit a couple of times. This might be like the third or fourth time in the three years of these tournaments that we've been doing that I've actually hit a limit. And it only took me 30 minutes. Uh, there's somebody I can go brag to. Let's go see him. It's Carlos. We'll check in with Carlos. I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the tournament is try to interview some people for the for the YouTube video. Let's go see. What's going on? Oh, there you go. I was about to ask if you had any luck yet. That's two. That's two? I got five. You got five? Yeah. But that one is bigger than any of the ones I caught. <laughs> I so there you go. That's probably what, eight, eight and a half, maybe nine? <laughs> I threw some of them back. No. Because uh, the biggest one I caught was seven and a half. That's crazy. Yeah. And one of them was five, five and a half. It's the smallest bass I've ever caught in a line, on a rod and reel. The first one was. Actually, I can't see my polarized. <laughs> it was like 11. Oh, there you go. So I, I'm probably not gonna win with the five that I got, but 
If I catch anything, maybe I'll call some out. Well, he caught one out there. Yeah, I saw Jimmy catch one I too. Think that's Jimmy on was this it Jimmy? That's the Jimmy on this I saw him catch one of. Oh, maybe we saw him catch the same one, but it was about that size. And that one's bigger than anything I caught. And then you got an 11 to go with it. There you go, seven. That's about the size of the biggest one I caught. About roughly seven and a half. Oh, they never want to sit still for the picture. <laughs> you got it? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, look, the kid caught one, Ignacio. Wouldn't that be wild if... Yeah, it looks probably about the size of your 11. Wouldn't it be wild if like a 10 year old kid beat all these grown men? I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever caught that many fish here in one day before. It only took me half an hour. Yeah. That or it's a jinx and I'm not gonna catch anything else. <laughs> Any luck? One? You? Five. Oh, I've got five. Yeah, in like the first 30 minutes, I got a limit. Oh my god, on what? On the, the little swim bait. Really? Yeah. I got five, that's crazy. Five already, that's so good. Yeah, they were all schooled up together around this one branch, and I just kept throwing there and pulling them out. Dang, See, but I'm just not telling you how big they were. Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> how big was yours? Nine inches? Yeah. That could have eaten all five of mine. <laughs> oh my the, gosh, like, they were super small, yeah, the biggest one was seven and a half. <laughs> one of them was a five. But did you catch yours right here? Yes, I did. Yeah. I've caught some good ones here. Two, two and a half pounders. He's missed five? Where is he at? Down that way? What's up? How many you got? Missed You've missed five? Yep, missed five? I've landed five. Nice. And I've missed another four or so. What the hell is that? Is that like a tool belt? Yeah. <laughs> I just found a little hole with a tree stump sticking out of it. And they were schooled up in there. And then uh, Jimmy has three. The, the boy with him has one. Carlos has two. And the young kid, Mike, has, has one. <laughs> I'm the bite's a lot better than I expected it to be. Yes, there we go. Ah, oh. slipped off right at the bank. That sucked. That would have that would have been the biggest fish of the day by far. It wasn't a very big fish, but it was a lot bigger than everything I've caught so far. And it slipped off right at the bank. It is 6.45. This is just past the halfway point of the tournament. So, haven't caught a fish in about an hour. So I caught all those little ones right away. And it's been about an hour since I got a bite. Then I caught that, or I lost one right at the bank a minute ago. So. Oh, there is a good one. Come on. Oh, it felt like a good one, but it's not. It's another little bitty one. But it will call out that tiny little five and a half I caught. Not much bigger. It's another probably six and a half or a seven. But it's another inch. Come on, get out of there. I wasn't exactly ready for him either. I don't have any of my stuff ready. Put that on the floor. Here's my tape measure. 
get out my phone. He is seven inches. Uh, pretty close to being seven exactly. So now I'm going to go into my pictures and delete the five and a half. So there we go, fish number six. It's kind of sad, I've caught six fish and the biggest one is still seven and a half inches. Guy across the, the creek there just lost a nice one. I don't think he's a part of the tournament though. At least I hope he's not because he's He's driving around. If he's part of the tournament, he's breaking a rule. I don't recognize him though, so I don't think he is. He's on, there we go. That's the big one of the day, don't come off. Get up here. There we go. There we go, it's still a very small bass, but this is a monster compared to the other ones I've caught today. So now I can cut off one of those six and a half and add some real length to it. All right, it's only nine and a half inches. Tiny, tiny bass, but he is so much bigger than all the other ones I've caught today. So now I can cut off a five and a half and a six and a half. I'm actually, dang, I didn't bring a pin, did I? I was gonna start, I'm gonna start writing them in, typing them into my phone. Keep track of what I got so I can know which ones to call out. I've got a nine and a half, a seven and a half, two sevens, and a six and a half. Plus the two that I've called were a six and a half and a five and a half. So I need to start culling these other smaller ones. Seven, I think I'm actually tied with the most fish I've ever caught at a tournament now. Which is not something I expected to do at this place because this place is supposed to be really tough. And I mean, the big fish today haven't really been biting, but I've never caught so many here at once in one day. Ooh, that was a perfect cast. Right at the end of a branch sticking out there. Perfect location. Of course, nothing's biting. Oh, there was a bite. Come on, is he on? He's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. What do we got? This one I might not be able to take a picture of. He's kind of small. So he would basically be culling himself. Which is a good problem to have. Let go of my bait. Let's see. Yeah, this one is six inches. So to count, it needs to be bigger than six and a half for me right now. Don't even need a picture of him. But that's uh, eight fish total, so. Eight fish total, and I just had another bite right now. And like, hell, that's, there's another fish. There we go. This one might call a six and a half, maybe. We'll see. I was about to say I'm catching more fish today than I do in any of my regular videos. So, I mean, the quality is not there, of course. Yeah, this one will not cull anything, so that's nine fish. I need something. He was about a quarter inch short to cull the next one. So, there we go. That's nine fish. Even on a day where I'm not pressured for time like this, where it's about seven o'clock, I've got about an hour left. On days where I'm not pressured for time, I don't even catch this many fish, so this is a really good day. I mean, 
I wish the quality was a little bit better because I still probably don't have a chance to win with how tiny these fish are, but the numbers are there. So we'll see, maybe just the sheer number alone will put me up in the top. Oh, he's on, he's on, there's another one. It feels like it's a little bit better. Nope, it's not, it's another tiny one. 10 fish total, 10 fish. I don't think anybody's ever caught 10 fish in a tournament before, in one of ours anyway. Let's see, where is he? he? is the same size as the one that I need to cull, so there's no point in taking a picture of him. Ten fish. I'm going to move down, just see if I can find some bigger ones. This is a good spot, but nothing's really paying off. Yeah, I mean, I've caught ten fish, but I've only been able to cull two of those original five. So... Even though I've caught 10 fish, it's really like I haven't caught anything else. Because they're not adding to my total. Which is really sad because my total was already minuscule as it was. So I'm catching fish that are not adding to that total. Then they're just, they're getting smaller and smaller throughout the day. So I need to beat six and a half right now to add to my total. And I haven't been able to do that. So... I'm going to look for a new spot. Maybe there's a school with some bigger fish hanging out. This looks like a really good spot. Should Hopefully there'll be some bigger ones here. They don't need to be giant, just bigger than what I've already caught. And there's definitely something out there. Probably sunfish, but still. Okay, there's a tap. Come on. There we go. It's fighting pretty good. Let's see what do we got. It's gonna call something. Yep, this is the best best one so far today. There we go. Oh, and he came right off. He slipped off in my into my hand. He's got a lot of energy too. Let's see, what do we got here? He is 11 and a half, yes. 11 and a half. It's still not a big fish by any means, but this will help out a lot. Stop. He was digging his fins into me. I got spined there. All right. 11 and a half. That's the kind of fish I need. As far as I know, this might be the biggest fish of the day for everyone, but I don't know. He's, he stabbed me a couple of times though. Yep. Okay, so that was my first halfway decent fish. There's another one. Nope, I thought that was another one. Wow. It's like a piece of bark or something. It felt like a bite. Bark says bite. Sorry, but anyway, halfway decent fish, first one. Halfway decent, I mean, because a decent one would be a keeper size to me, which would be 14 and up, so. If it's over 10, I consider that halfway decent. I thought this spot might pay off, glad it did. I don't even know what my total is, but now I got a target of bigger than seven inches. Seven inches to call. Oh, that was a good bite, but he come back, come, come back for it. Is he on it? I can't tell. Okay, I got him, whatever it was. I don't know if this will be seven inches though. I don't think it will.
Jeez, he choked this too. All right, there we go. Is he seven inches? He is just short of seven inches. So he will not help me. He will not add to my total. But it's 12 fish. 12 fish in one day is not bad for around here. I think that's like more pressure than Congress. Okay, so first place with 47 inches is Sergio. So, and I was in second place with 42 and a half inches. So. And third place is going to be Roger with 40 inches. And fourth place, uh, no prize unfortunately, but uh, Eric Lundberg was just half an inch behind. And then fifth place was Jimmy with 29 and three quarters. So. <laughs> the biggest fish was Sergio's 15 inch. That's so.